Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best gaming headset. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Astro A50 Generation 4 Gaming Headset. The Astro A50 Gen 4 Wireless 2023 is the best upper mid-range gaming headset we've tested. Like the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless for Xbox, these fan-favorite headphones come in either a 4 pounds and PC or Xbox and PC variant, each of which includes a wireless base station. While it doesn't have customization features like a built-in equalizer found in our top pick, the base station still ensures low latency, and you can even use it to recharge the headphones when not in use. Thanks to their over 17 hours of continuous playback time, you'll have plenty of juice to last through long gaming sessions, and they're even equipped with an auto-off timer to help conserve battery life if you forget to turn them off. These headphones have a comfortable fit suitable for long gaming marathons, and they're well-built. They have a well-balanced sound out of the box with enough boom and warmth to bring out sound effects without drowning out dialogue or instruments. Their companion software offers a graphic equalizer, and you can use it to create presets that you can access via the equalizer button on the right ear cup. Their mic has excellent recording quality, and it can separate your voice from background noise well. These headphones aren't designed to block background noise, so you'll hear everything going on around you if you're gaming in a loud environment. Number 7 in my list is SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Gaming Headset. The best headset for gaming we've tested is the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro Wireless for Xbox. These feature-packed headphones come in either a PlayStation and PC or Xbox and PC variant. However, the Xbox variant is compatible with both consoles, making them a solid choice if you game across platforms. These premium and comfortable over-ears come with a wireless USB transmitter, which puts controls like channel mixing, equalizer, and side tone at your fingertips. Their transmitter also ensures very low latency, which is great for keeping your audio and visuals in sync while gaming. Since these headphones use a dual battery cartridge system, you can store one battery in the transmitter while using the other, delivering roughly 25 hours of continuous playback time each. Out of the box, they have a somewhat neutral profile with a touch of extra thump and boom to help emphasize sound effects like footsteps in your gameplay. You can fine-tune their sound using the transmitter or their companion software's graphic equalizer and presets. If you like to game with others, their Detract Able Boom mic offers very good performance, ensuring that your voice sounds clear and natural, even in moderately noisy environments. Unlike many other gaming headphones on the market, they have active noise cancelling, which can help tackle sounds like the whirl of your computer's fan or ambient chatter. They even support Bluetooth, meaning you can stay connected to your console and smartphone simultaneously. Number 6 in my list is Corsair HS80 RGB Gaming Headset. Corsair's new HS80 RGB wireless gaming headset is easily one of the best headsets the company has ever made and also one of the best wireless headsets around. It takes some of the best headset features available and executes them really well. At $150, it boasts the latest and greatest lag-free slitstream wireless tech, high-fidelity audio, and Dolby. The microphone is outstanding, and the new design lets you wear them for ages without fatigue. It's said that imitation is the highest form of flattery, and the new HS80 imitates some of the best headsets from Steel Series. Corsair has finally adopted the same floating headband design that uses an adjustable strap to evenly distribute the weight across your noggin. Furthermore, the HS80 feels bulkier on my head than any Steel Series headset, but at 370 gram, it's not much heavier. However, it's the spatial audio where the HS80 surprises, with impressive 3D audio and accurate positioning. This, as you can imagine, is great for games like first-person shooters or large open-world environments. This is made even better with support for Dolby and Corsair provides an automatic license with the headset. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite, which supports Dolby, and it has sounded amazing on these cans. Number 5 in my list is Epos H6 Pro Gaming Headset. 
Epos is gradually shifting away from its Sennheiser past and beginning to collect its own lineup of great gaming headsets. The H6 Pro is a big part of that, as the company's first go at a true flagship product without Sennheiser's stamp all over it. The H6 Pro offers a really high-grade headset experience. There are fancy new 42mm drivers to keep them sounding great, which have been tuned to offer a more balanced and easy on the bass profile than your usual gaming headset. It also offers a great sounding microphone that delivers the benefits of both flip to mute and removable designs. I've had experience with both open back and closed back designs and essentially, if you desire noise isolation, blocking outside noise from reaching your ear holes, you'll want the closed back H6 Pro headset. If that's not important then it's the open back H6 Pro headset that will be the better choice for a superior gaming sound stage. In terms of a new flagship, Epos has put together something really competitive and impressive in the H6 Pro. The downside is that these also come with a flagship price tag of $179, 149 pounds, 179 euros, and one that you really need to debate whether you are happy with a wire or might instead consider going wireless if there's one peripheral that's worth cutting the cord with. It's your headset. Number 4 in my list is Bayer Dynamic MNX100 Gaming Headset. This isn't the first gaming headset from Bayer Dynamic, but the MMX100 is absolutely its most rounded offering so far. Offering excellent audio and a good microphone in a comfortable and well-designed headset makes for an easy entry into our best headset list, especially when you can pick these impressively made cans up for under $100. Despite using a closed-back design, we found the MNX100s produce a surprisingly wide soundstage, without any of the muddiness or over-eager bass that often plagues gaming headsets. The bass is so finely tuned without any distortion or booiness that you typically get on most gaming headsets. The mids and highs are crystal sharp bringing out all the tiny details and audio cues like footsteps or reloads. The overall build is quite exceptional except for one really annoying issue, the volume dial. On my unit, it had quite a bit of play, where it could rock back or forth without changing the volume, while causing static in the right ear cup when adjusting volume and oftentimes completely cutting out the audio on the right side. This is mostly around the max volume position. Minute adjustments of volume would fix the audio, but it's most disturbing for such a well-built headset that I'm honestly inclined to believe it was just my particular sample and not systemic. There's simply no denying that Bayer Dynamic has totally knocked it out of the park with the MNX100. At $99, it's an incredible bargain, and I'd be hard-pressed to point out a more comfortable, better-sounding one than this. The Steel Series Arctis Prime comes close in comfort but not for sound. Putting aside the volume dial issue on my particular unit, this is easily one of the best gaming headsets money can buy right now. Number 3 in my list is Razer Kraken X Gaming Headset. As a cheap alternative to the tricked out Razer Kraken, the Kraken X is a budget friendly option that excels on PC for one simple reason virtual 7.1 surround sound. Available via an app, this elevates the headset's already good audio thanks to superior depth, clarity, and definition. It also makes going back to the X's standard audio mode difficult. In our testing, it's clear the Kraken X isn't going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of HyperX's cloud range, or even with its fellow Razer stablemates, but for the money, the Kraken X delivers the goods. When you throw in enviable comfort and a lightweight, stylish, and understated design, this version of the Kraken offers tremendous value for money. There are niggles to dampen the party, of course, a non-detachable mic being chief among them. But you can't complain when you're getting good 7.1 sound for such a low cost. When you've only got $50 to spend on a gaming headset, we don't think you'll do much better than these Razer cans. Number 2 in my list is HyperX Cloud Alpha Gaming Headset. The HyperX Cloud Alpha is perhaps the most praised thing to exist on this site. We all love it on the team, and now HyperX has cut the cord on its best pair of cans. The biggest draw card for this headset is the new huge battery. You're looking at up to 300 hours of battery life in wireless mode while still keeping the headset relatively light and comfortable. It's a pretty massive feat, and I feel HyperX has pulled it off. 
Out of the box, this unit was reporting having about 80% charge, so I decided to leave it there to see how well that held. I spent a workday listening to music and checked the battery again. I swear it still said 80%. I have been using this thing for gaming and music listening pretty consistently for the past week, and we aren't even at 50% battery yet. That impressive battery life is, of course, a best case scenario. A lot of that has to do with the volume you're running the headset at, and volume is probably my only real complaint. It's absolutely loud enough, but I can listen to it at full volume and still be fairly comfortable. When playing games, the directional sound is also very nice. I was able to easily locate hidden batteries by directional beeps in Deep Rock Galactic and had a wonderful time bouncing along to the tight beats of Shadow Warrior 3. I loaded up some Doom Eternal and promptly terrified myself. If you've ever wanted to know what it sounds like having a Kakodeman suddenly show up and whisper sweet blah things into very specifically your left ear, then these can absolutely deliver. Number 1 in my list is Razer Black Shark V2 Gaming Headset. Dethroning the HyperX Cloud Alpha from the top spot was no easy feat. Razer's Black Shark V2 Gaming Headset manages to do just that by offering killer audio quality, great price, and easy-to-use software. From the moment Razer first started talking about the Black Shark V2, it was clear this was main focus of the headset, and the design of the drivers themselves is effectively doing what the impressive Cloud Alphas do. The 50mm Triforce Titanium drivers are designed with discrete ports to separate bass, mid, tremble tones from interfering with each other. The result is a richer sound than a standard set, and keeps it on par with HyperX's 50mm Dual Chamber Neodymium Driver Headset. They're like a tribute to HyperX's own design, and no worse for it. For me, the sound is one of the standout features of the Black Shark V2, and is far and above what you will get with most other sets in this price point. I'm also a big fan of the restrained design of the headset, and I found them to comfortable enough to wear for marathon gaming sessions. Alright guys, this was our today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for our amazing upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the links in the description for the updated price of all products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.